Welcome to section 8, working with Acker HTTP. In the previous section, we were working with Acker Streams. We have looked into the main parts on Acker Streams, sources, flows, and sinks. And we were working with graphs and stream I.O. And finally, we tested them. In this section, we will introduce another module of Acker, Acker HTTP. We'll do a quick introduction to the Acker HTTP module and work with the client side and server side APIs. We will then implement a RESTful API server and introduce testing. Let's start with the first intro video. First, we'll look at how the HTTP module fits into the Acker ecosystem, and then we'll see which modules it itself is composed of. Let's start. Acker is a toolkit for building highly concurrent and distributed applications. When you think about distribution, you think about how to integrate the stuff that we've just distributed. If you want to distribute your application across threads, Acker gives you actors. And when you want to distribute your application across machines, Acker gives you Acker Cluster and Acker Remoting. When your application wants to interact with external services, Acker gives you Acker HTTP, since HTTP is the de facto standard of many web based applications. And the whole world talks using this protocol. It makes sense when you want to talk to the external world, you use HTTP module. Acker HTTP isn't a web framework. It's a toolkit for providing and consuming HTTP-based services. This means the main goal of Acker HTTP is to integrate your application with the external world. And if you think about implementing the web application that has a lot of views, it needs to prepare assets such as images that compress JavaScript and CSS, and so on. Thus, it is better to choose the web framework Play rather than Acker HTTP. The Acker HTTP module is implemented on top of Acker Streams, which are implemented on top of Acker Actors. Each layer provides additional capabilities and or limitations to what you can do with them. It has a full server and client-side HTTP 1.1 stack. In other words, if you want to talk with the external service, you will need to use a client-side API. And if you want to provide a service to the world, you will need to use a server-side API. Acker HTTP is structured into several modules. Acker HTTP Core, which contains a complete low-level full server and client-side implementation of HTTP, such as a connection and TLS management. Acker HTTP, which contains higher-level functionality, such as marshalling, compression, decompression, as well as a powerful routing DSL for defining HTTP-based APIs on the server side. Acker HTTP Test Kit, which contains a set of utilities for verifying server-side service implementations. Next, we have Acker HTTP Spray JSON, which contains a predefined glue code for serializing and deserializing custom types from and to JSON with Spray JSON. It is possible to use Acker HTTP with other JSON serializers, and there exist community projects providing these integrations if you prefer to use something other than Spray's JSON library, which is very fast but requires a bit of coding to set up. Lastly, we have Acker HTTP XML, which contains a predefined glue code for serializing and deserializing custom types from and to XML with Scala XML. At the end of the first video on Acker HTTP, we just introduced Acker HTTP module and its structure.